what's up Azeroth, I'm Dark Populous, and in this video I want to talk about WoW legacy servers. However I'm not going to discuss if they should happen or not because one, of course it should. I mean the petition for it has already reached 214,000 signatures as of the making of this video, which also means Mark Kern is personally going to smother Mr. Morheim's face with 5,000 pieces of signed papers. And two, you guys have probably seen countless videos of people's opinions on the Starus and why Warlords of Draenor is a terrible expansion, yada yada yada. What I want to talk about is how they should do it if they were to do it. Should they just throw up the base game and be done with it? Or should they do something a bit more complex? I have heard the argument that people will eventually get bored of vanilla WoW and just stop playing altogether. Also, people may prefer to play Wrath of the Lich King or Burning Crusade over the vanilla game. So maybe they should make servers for each expansion. But the problem with that is, that may split up the community too much. The guild I'm a part of, Ruin Gaming, prefers Wrath of the Lich King because of Wintergrasp and how great that was when it was first released. But we won't be able to enjoy classic Alterac Valley as it was originally because that was removed during Burning Crusade. So perhaps they could cycle through the expansions like they do with Time Walking Dungeons. Blizzard doesn't want us to not play their new content after all. They could have legacy servers open during periods of time where there isn't any new content and they feel enough time has passed since an expansion's launch where there isn't enough stuff for players to do. That way, if people complain that Blizzard hasn't released enough content, Blizzard could turn around and be like, well, we've got these legacy servers for you to try out, why don't you go play those in the meantime? I've personally never played anything previous to Mist of Pandaria, so I'm not really too picky about which one they choose. Some of the things that I like the sound of from back then though are no flying, because flying ruins world PvP in my personal opinion. No group finder, because that ruined the sense of community. And lastly, no transmogification. That way, when you see someone wearing hard to get armor, you know that they were a badass and not because of some dumb item level number. If nothing else, we can at the very least take a look at how RuneScape handled it. They first released old school RuneScape, as it was back in 2007. But they also later released RuneScape Legacy, which allows players to play the new content with the old combat system, as opposed to playing it with their rework of their combat system, Evolution of Combat. So perhaps Blizzard could replicate a version of the game as it was back in Vanilla, or Wrath of the Lich King, with none of the changes that were made back in Cataclysm, but still allow us to play and access the new content in Warlords of Draenor and the Legion expansion. Either way they decide to do it, I look forward to experiencing World of Warcraft as it was in its golden age, because I never got to do so, and it's not like I can just put a disc in and just play it out of nowhere. You don't get access to it right now, so let me know what you think about how Blizzard could handle releasing legacy servers in the comment section below. But until next time fellas, I'm Dark Populous, and I'm signing out.